This is Lee Snow at Everything Microstock, and we're going to take a look at Content Aware Fill, one of the many tools that Photoshop has for removing unwanted elements from an image. In looking at this photo, I know that I need to remove this logo from the waiter's apron. I also want to get rid of this picture in the background and this distracting stain from the cabinet behind him. To get started, I'm going to make a copy of my background layer by pressing the shortcut Command J on my Mac or Control J on a PC, and I'll rename that layer Cleanup. That just helps me stay organized as I get more and more layers. Now the first thing that you want to do when you use Content Aware Fill is make a selection around the area that you want filled. You can use your selection tool of choice. I'm going to use the Lasso tool by pressing L just the letter L and I've got my selection and I can get the fill tool up here from edit fill or the way that I prefer to get it is shift delete and it brings up the fill dialog and when you have the fill dialog you need to make sure that you select content aware use content aware for filling that selection. And when I press OK, look what happens. It removed the picture all right, but Photoshop looked at the information around that selection and it pulled in stuff that I didn't want. So I'm going to undo that by Command Z and get rid of my selection, Command or Control D. And I'm going to try again. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bigger selection that just includes the information or color or whatever that I want Photoshop to pay attention to when doing that content aware fill. And I'm going to jump that selection to its own layer by pressing Command or Control J. So now you could see when I turn off the other layers that that's all that's there. So this I'm going to rename this layer to Picture. And now what I'll do still with the Lasso tool is I'm going to draw a selection around my picture and when I press shift delete I'll get that fill dialog with content aware fill and press OK and that is the result that I wanted. I'll get rid of the selection by pressing command or control D and then let me just show the other layers again and I think that looks pretty good up there. Now, as with every change that we make to an image that we're going to put on our Microstock site, you want to look at it at 100% and make sure it's totally seamless. Now, I see a little bit here. It could just be shadowing or whatever, but I'm going to give it one spot healing swipe to clean that up, and I like that now. I'll select my lasso tool again. And I'm going to press the space bar to temporarily get the hand and drag to the next spot that I want to take care of, which is this logo. When I release the space bar, I'm back to the lasso tool. I'm going to go back to the cleanup layer, and since we learned before that just selecting the item doesn't really work that well, I'm going to do my broader selection around this green apron, keeping just the color that I want Photoshop to consider in my selection and I'm going to do a command J or control J to jump that to its own layer as you can see it's on its own layer and I'm going to name that apron and now what I'm going to do is do our closer in selection right around the logo and press shift delete like we did before to bring up the content aware fill dialog press OK and it's gone I'll do command or control D to get rid of my selection not bad I see a little bit of haloing or outlining here and I'm at 100 200 percent so I'm going to clean that up maybe with a little bit of a clone stamp here I just grabbed and I'll just clone just a little bit like that I mean the apron has a lot of texture to it and different coloring so I don't think it needs to be too perfect but 
I definitely don't want it to be noticeable that I removed that. So I just was looking at before and after, and that looks good to me. So now I'm going to press the space bar again and move on down to the final item that we want to remove, which is this funny highlighting. I'm going to reduce the size of my image to 100% by pressing Command or Control minus sign to make my view a little bit smaller. Now I'm going to go back to the cleanup layer, and in this case, I don't think I need to make a large selection to jump to its own layer. I'm just going to select fairly closely to the drip itself and see if Photoshop can figure out how to handle this wood molding and if it can line it up. So we'll give this a try and we will press shift delete to bring up that fill dialog, content aware fill, press OK and look at that. It did a great job. I'll get rid of that selection and I like that the way it is. I'll press command zero to look at my whole picture here. Maybe I'll uh, make it a little bit smaller like that and I think that looks good. So there it is before and there it is after, all cleaned up. Those are just some examples of things we could do with Content Aware Fill. So the next time you need to remove a large logo or other item from your image, give Content Aware Fill a try.